Let's say I am writing an automation where I have to open a browser called Acme. I have to get the credential from the orchestrator, log into the website, extract some of the data. Once the data abstraction is done, I have to simply send an email to a person. Now, all of this code is written in a single XAML. If I run this code, this might give me the expected result. But is it the best practice? The answer is no. The best practice here is to follow which is called the organized workflow, which means that you logically separate your workflow in different, different components. Now, how can I do that? It's absolutely simple. So for example, let's say opening of the browser is one code, right? You can simply click on the activities, right? Click on that. And you have this option which says extract as workflow. And I hit create. Now, once I have extracted the workflow, the second thing is the data extraction, which means this all this part where the data is getting extracted. This is in this part, right? So I can simply right click on this, click on extract as workflow. And I can say that this part is to extract and I hit create. Once the data is extracted, all I have to do is I can simply go here and click on this SMTP part. And I say that this one is for sending the SMTP and I hit create. Now, once you do all of this, you would notice that your actual workflow is now much more neater, which is invoke the workflow, get the credential, extract the data and send the SMTP. Now, what is the benefit? My workflow looks much neater. If I have one more automation where I have to reuse the component, let's say extract the XAML or send the SMTP, I can always reuse the XAML. So this increases the reusability. And the best part, let's say if I have to only test the part of the extract workflow, I can only do that without running the complete automation. When you do the organized workflow with the help of this thing, the only thing which you have to take care is of the arguments that which arguments are getting passed from which XAML. So for that, you can always use this arguments panel, which has in and out direction. In case you don't understand what is arguments and want to understand it more, I have these two dedicated videos available in English as well as in Hindi language to give you more insights on the arguments. So the best practice for today was to organize the workflow with using an option which is called the extract as workflow and to use the existing workflow which you have already created. You can always use an activity which is called the invoke workflow. Thank you for watching and happy automation.